tough game tonight. Obviously, um, you know, we're fighting for every point that we can get uh, during the conference season, and it's frustrating to, to lose to a, a local team, a team right down the road from us, uh, the way that we did tonight. But um, felt like, you know, similar to or similarly to some of the games that we've had this season, don't start off on our best foot and come out in the second half and, and give a little bit more. And um, you know, I think we we proved that we belonged on the field in the second half and and that we could we could be competitive. Um, but it was just too little, too late, um, which has kind of been the uh, the trend the past couple of games now. So we're just trying to dig ourselves out of that a slow early start that we've been kind of um, producing the last couple of games. What sorts of adjustments did you make at the half? Uh, we changed our formation, um, which is funny because a couple of weeks ago, it's something I said we wouldn't do again, but um, just felt like we had to. And honestly thought this time when we did it, it, it worked out much better. Um, girls came out uh, challenging much more for 50-50 balls, which was something that was really important for us that we talked about at halftime. Um, and, and really just took a, a bit of a sense more of pride um, in, in making sure that we didn't just relax and, and get complacent and let Aurora kind of have their way with us. Is it good to see a team like this? I mean, does it, does it help you guys know what level you need to be at? I mean, that's a top 15 team nationally. Their coaching staff, the, the former coach, did a great job with them recruiting. Um, you know, he, he's brought in some fantastic players to Aurora, and um, now with their new coach, he, he's got them very organized. They're very fluid attacking. So it, it is, I mean, it's good for us to, to play against teams like that just because it gives us a sense of, um, of, of where the top teams in the nation are right now. Um, but at the same time, having said that, we really honestly aren't too worried about other teams and what they're doing. And... Um, and where they're at, and where they're ranked, and where they're not ranked. We all we really worry about right now is ourselves, and and taking care of um, what we need to do to focus to to start winning games in our conference, and and be at a competitive level to, to be a top team in this conference because that's that's our goal. That's what we're we're striving for. And um, you know, it's it's good to play teams like that, but at the same time, we don't really care about any other teams. We're worried and focused on on what we're supposed to be doing to get to the the highest level that we can compete at. You knew before the game that uh, Candace was injured. Uh, you might be dealing with uh, some troubles there. What was your strategy going into the game with uh, the keeper position? To play mind games with Christy here <laughs> as much as I could. Um, it worked. No, really, it, you know, we, we talked to Candace a little bit yesterday. We had to hold her out of practice uh, for the most part. And, you know, she, she's been dinged up a little bit. Um, but it was something that we, we talked to Christy yesterday, practiced, and, and let her know that that there might be a possibility that she would have to see some of the field today. And Candace came out, and I, I talked to Monica Danik, our, our goalkeeper coach, and uh, apparently Candace had one of her best warm-ups, and I watched some of it, and I thought she was doing really well, and um, she seemed to be moving pretty well, so we, we thought we'd give her a run out and see how she did. I um, thought she played really well in the first half, but you could see in the second half she started to labor a little bit. Um, and, and it was a situation where Christy, we thought, did really well in warm-ups as well. Um, the big thing with Christy is we didn't want to throw her in under the fire. Um, if we had an opportunity to, to not play her in a game like this, we didn't want to in the goal just because Christy's a, a field player by nature. So, um, But having said all of that, you know, when, when we saw Candace kind of laboring a little bit because of the injury, uh, can't, or Christy stepped in. I thought she did a fantastic job, came up with probably five or six really good saves and um, looked comfortable. Came out literally the first 15 seconds she was in the game on a 1v1 and uh, made a, a diving save and it, it was off sides in the end anyway, but was very confident coming off her line and, and just proved that we weren't gonna drop off anyway, just anywhere just because um, we, we had to take our, our starting keeper out of the game. Chrissy, talk about where your head was before the game knowing that you might have to go in that position. Um, I was actually really nervous. I was. Coach told me the day before or the practice before that he, I might have to go in. He's like, just mentally prepare for it. And I was just like, you're, you're lying, right? And he's <laughs> like, no, no, no. So I went in, I was really nervous. And actually the first thing uh, Mo told me before we went in, or before I went in was to, that I have to come off my line. And I just saw the girl coming and I was just so nervous. And I was like, I just had to make a decision and go with it. So I just ended up going there and sliding and I mean, it was 
it was nerve wracking, but after the first couple shots, I was like, okay, you know, I can do this. So, and they had some pretty good rips, like especially watching the first half. Some of those shots they took, I was like, I hope I don't have to play. I hope I don't have to play because they were they were literally coming in hard. They had some good players. So, did it help having to come out in the field in the first half? Did you get a chance to see him a little bit more when you came out on the field? Uh, it was actually player? my first game back, so. I had an ankle injury, so it was my first game back, and I was a little nervous about that too. And, I, and coach put me in as a forward, and I'm a defender, so I was nervous about that too. But yeah, it actually did help a little bit. They were really physical, and I knew that it would be a battle. So, all right, good luck this weekend. Thanks. Thanks.